as best I remember that we were uh, we were flying to Europe for some shows. I don't remember where. Flying from Nashville initially to New York and then New York to Frankfurt. Okay. <clears throat> and Tommy uh, was, you know, starting to do a lot of producing things for different artists and things. And he was doing Tim Minor down in Dallas area. And um, Tommy's got like God stuffed his brain with creativity and gifts and things, but it like just took over his whole brain. So the administrative side of his brain is non-existent pretty much almost. And I think Tommy sitting here, oh, you know, Tommy would go, dude. <laughs> yeah. Tommy oozes yeah, coolness. Yeah. But um, um but we so. we we labeled him satellite sims because he's circling up there somewhere. So actually I uh, yeah, he was and yeah, he was in Dallas and Chris McHugh called him the day before and said, Tom, yeah, yeah, man. He said, um, where are you? He said, Oh man, Dallas. I said, well, you know that we're going to Europe tomorrow, right? You know, we're flying out at noon to Europe tomorrow, through New York, then to Frankfurt. Uh, oh, man. Well, Tom, where are you? Dallas. He said, all right. Well, I have to, I have to, I'll say, oh, yeah, I have to get up there. <laughs> so the next morning. Yeah. <clears throat> so the next morning, McHugh calls him because he's just thinking, Tommy, it's Tommy. Oh, yeah, so there's he no calls way he's him early in the it. morning, he says, Tom, 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 where are you? He goes, oh, man, Little Rock. <laughs> it's like, uh, It's uh, kind of so, halfway between so we said, Nashville so, and Dallas. Um, so, uh, uh, guess I'll just have to catch you dudes in New York. And so, obviously, Tommy's going to book his own flight. He is not going to make the flight from Nashville. But then he calls our road manager and says, uh, yeah, Mike, uh, could you go to my apartment, get my passport? Get your passport. Okay. Uh, all right. Where is it? Well, uh, not real sure. In the closet. <laughs> well, and so, so Mike Jones, who's a great road manager, great road manager, goes to the apartment. Of course, the, the apartment manager does not want to let them into this guy she's never met into Tommy Sims' apartment to get a passport. passport. It's like, uh, yeah. Finally, she convinced him of the urgency. I think they, I don't know if they called Tommy or whatever. Anyway, she let him in. Mike found Tommy's passport in a shoebox filled with $800 in his closet. <laughs> like and he's so, doing a drug deal or something, you know? Just yeah, like, right. What? So anyway, so we go to the airport, we fly to New York, and it's, you know, international flights, you're supposed to board at least, you're supposed to be there two hours before, start boarding an hour and a half, especially if it was a, a Lufthansa flight, I think. And so you, you need to be there. You need to be there. And um, uh, so anyway, uh, it's an hour and a half to go. There's no Tommy. It's an hour to go. There is no Tommy. It's 45 minutes to show time to get on the plane to go to Frankfurt. And there is no Tommy. And so finally, Mike Jones said, you're a runner. Go run around the airport here. Find him. And so I started running through the airport just looking for Tommy. And, uh, and lo and behold, with a half an hour to go, I did find Tommy. Standing in the line for a flight to Rome on Air Italia. <laughs> of course. Where else so, would he be? So anyway, he did make the flight. And we went and we, we get to Frankfurt shows. and then he long before the days of cell phones, oh, called yeah. his girlfriend the first day we got to the hotel and burned up all his per diem that very night. <laughs> so that was... He spent a zillion dollars the, on the long distance. That, were, yeah. that was a, a day and a half in the life of Tommy Sims. <laughs> Man, he's just, yeah. Oh, we love him. He's, he's so talented. Uh, and, and Moonshot does not begin to describe it. Yeah.